A whole new way to power a farm in today's Eye on Earth. WBC Sarah Robleski shows us how one local farm is turning cow poop into power and profit. In this barn, these cows are doing two things, producing milk and... Poop! Lots of poop. Cow manure. Which may seem like a stinky problem, but it's how this farm is being powered. I think one of our largest bills a number of years ago came to us was, was energy. Randy Jordan is a fifth generation we farmer and the co-owner of Jordan Dairy Farm and has noticed an increase in production costs over the years. Milk prices are the same today as they were 50 years ago. And, but that's about the only thing that's the same price uh, in, in the dairy world. In an effort to save money, Randy looked into renewable energy around the time the food waste ban went into effect for the Bay State. Solar as a whole is a great concept, but on a day like today, we don't got a lot of sun, right? You know what? But we got a lot of manure today. This anaerobic digester, one of the first in the state, takes in about 75 tons of food waste each day, along with 25 tons of manure. Together, they can power 1,600 homes a day. So we take um, the gas that is produced from the food waste and from the manure, uh, we collect that gas, we dry it, and we burn it in a generator to make electricity. That electricity powers the farm, but also sent back into the grid and now powering local companies and schools that are part of the Farm Powered Strategic Alliance. It's a network of five digesters across the state that provide major companies a place to send their food waste in return for low cost renewable energy. So Polar Beverage sends us food waste, we turn it into renewable electricity and we send them back uh, the electricity here. It turns out to be something super simple but actually massively impactful uh, on our future. And another benefit to the farm is the byproduct. So that's a million and a half gallons of fertilizer. So we've taken all the food waste, we've taken all the cow manure, we combined it, heat it, we took the energy from it and now you have an odorless but nutrient dense fertilizer that we then give back to the farm. A full circle in sustainable farming. I think that our greatest hope is that people see how effective this is, how efficient this is. And all it takes is one step. Just educating the community and educating food manufacturers, schools, hospitals, that they can do this. That it actually doesn't require any change to what they're doing today except just putting stuff into a different bucket. The Farm Powered Strategic Alliance has about 160 farms under agreement in 30 states to build these systems. To learn more, visit our website, cbsboston.com. I'm meteorologist Sarah Robleski, WBZ News.